What is up, rappers? Thank you for joining me. Episode 46, Rap Talks, man. Where am I? Where am I right now? Um, I'm actually in Anaheim, California. If you guys can see these little lights right there, that's the Angel Stadium. Uh, I wanted to do this at night because I thought the show was going to be a lot brighter, but <laughs> as is life, it's all darkness. Uh, <clears throat> No, but uh, yes, here I am, uh, Anaheim, we're at the Double D, baby, uh, the Double Tree. Uh, little workation, that's what we're doing, uh, you yeah. know, times got tough on the local bro tour, and I had to get a jobby job to pay some billy bills, <laughs> and uh, so we work and work right now. Uh, <clears throat> day is it, man, it's Wednesday, October 13th. And uh, watching the Mexico game. We're up 1-0 against El Salvador. What, what? <laughs> That's right. Tell the bartender downstairs. Woo! Uh, he's going for El Salvador. Tell Mexico's going to win. So, 40 minutes in, I'm right. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, rappers, once again, like I said, for, for supporting me. I've been back in L.A. for a week and a half of procrastination, as always, as is. Uh, tradition, as is tradition, you know, uh, <laughs> once we come back, uh, you know, we, we, fuck, uh, we forget about ourselves a little bit, but no, I've uh, been doing some shit, uh, I'll try to get back in the groove, man, I was out for the Lone Cabron tour three weeks, almost a month, so I want to thank everybody that was part of it, uh, all the comics that helped me out, all the promoters that helped me book a show. Uh, and everybody that just put me up as a guest spot at the end too, man. Thank you guys very much. Uh, we'll get into more details a little bit further up ahead. But the last time I saw you rappers, I had... <laughs> I had definitely not a huge city like this behind me. We were, at, in, we were in cotton fields in my hometown of Socorro, Texas. So what happened after that? Okay. First and foremost, I want to shout out my homies out there. Pichy Robbie and Gus. Woo, hooking it up, man. Pichi Juan John, all my brothers from other mother mothers. Uh, they really did hook it up, man. Made me feel at home. Uh, got fucked up <laughs> a lot. Uh, it was great. It was great, like I said. It was bittersweet, but it was more sweet than bitter. Seeing my grandpa, you know, he's in good health. Just sucks that he's stuck in a place he doesn't want to be in, like most of us. Uh, but, you know, with... He's still, he's still gonna get out of there, man. I believe that's not where he's gonna end his life. And neither are you if you're in a dark place. That's not where it ends, man. Keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward. Pos positivity. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, so El Paso was bomb. Uh, it was dope. Uh, because after that, we did the show with Josh Castro downtown. That was badass. It was a small, intimate crowd. Boom. Uh, in an intimate room. In a basement, downtown El Paso. What? Who knew we had those? Uh, so that was cool. Uh, boom! After that, we got get we got fucked up, uh, <laughs> and then, and then I'm I'm driving uh, what the heck around because he's he's gonna stay with me the night. But I got fucked up, man. Got fucked up, and I thought I did the responsible thing, which I did. Did the responsible thing, and I called the uh, I didn't call an Uber. Uh, I called my dad. Uh, hooked up with some <laughs> gas money. Call my dad, which I thought was the smart thing to do, but my dad almost killed us, dude. <laughs> like, fucking, I was a fucking, some street coming out of downtown El Paso. You couldn't, you didn't see this uh, median. <laughs> it was like, Arr! We're like, all right, we're cool. <laughs> I was like, dad, what the fuck? Like, dad, I'm the drunk one. Pull over, let me drive. Uh, he did it. He got us home safe. Thank you, pops. <laughs> Yeah, the next day we picked up the car. Uh, Sunday, we did uh, Pistoleros. <laughs> Once again, it was a badass show, man. The people at Pistoleros are awesome. San Elis, fucking, they got a very cool little art district in their main, in their main, <laughs> little main street, the little historic street in front of the church, which everybody knows where that's at. Um, you don't you just Google San Elisario Mission or Socorro Missions, and that's it. It's where... Where your boy Raph is from, uh, <laughs> like it fell off the, fell way off the tree. This guy. <laughs> now, let's see. Yeah, we did those shows, man. Kicked ass, sold some merch. Um, 
And then, pa 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 I had to get ready to go uh, on the road again to San Antonio, Texas. Uh, and I want to give a big ass shout out to another badass homie of mine, Pichu Babinski Bubba from fucking uh, Bubba worked is a badass tattoo artist. He works at the House of Pain. If you guys need to get inked up, hit him up. Bubba, uh, tattoos by Bubba, I believe. Uh, but that motherfucker hooked it. Oh, okay. So El Paso, Texas, right? It's all like, no, no, on the. So uh, <laughs> he hooked it up, man. And then on my way out of El Paso, Texas, I, I had, um, he made uh, a meeting between myself and some ancient ones happen. And and let's just say I took them uh, with me down the road and I decided to eat them right before the set of the, the, what, the Santa Teresa checkpoint. Or no, the Sierra Blanca checkpoint. This bitch is making up checkpoints with them. That's how good they were though. Um, so I had them in my backpack. I had two ancestors with me. And uh, <laughs> I had a backpack. And I, my thought was like, I'm going to know about like 20 miles before when the inspection is going to come up. I'm going to eat them and it'll be cool. That didn't happen that way. See, what happened is the inspection station came up like that. And in a panic, I uh, took the ancestors out, ate them. And as I was chewing them, I answered the question, are you American? <laughs> Yes, sir. Right? Uh, where are you going? <laughs> San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> and he goes, all right, boom, go ahead, buddy. And I'm, I'm, I'm in. Woo! Right? I passed. Uh, I'm driving, smoking a little J. And, uh, and then, like an hour in, it just pff, hits. It just fucking hits, man. And it's like, and it, and, okay, and this is where I fucked up. A little bit. I, uh, I had drank some beers before that. And a little shot of tequila. Maybe two. And when, I, when the ancient ones and I became one, <laughs> uh, they didn't like it. They didn't like the spirits in me. Uh, so as I'm driving and it starts kicking in, uh, I start feeling a little nauseous. Right? And I'm like, oh, fuck, man. Uh, so I'm like, I, I try to go as far as I can, but I'm, I can't do it anymore. Uh, Alamore, that's what I pulled over. Alamore. Uh, that was the exit I pulled over. Alamore. Excuse me. And um, I pull over. Pull over. Get out of my car. And I go, oh my God. The stars look beautiful, right? Excuse me. But then I instantly go, Whoa, right? Um. <clears throat> So I go behind my car and I puke, puke, puke my brains out. Uh, probably like just, but it's like a really fast liquid. It's just the liquids, you know, just the spirits coming out. And, okay, so I feel better, right? But I'm also like, fuck it, I'm just gonna chill here and take a nap at this point, right? And as I'm getting my car, my back seat situation ready to, uh, <laughs> to, uh, to, to take a nap, right? Uh, it's fucking headlights start coming my way. And you know, no, there are no good headlights coming your way on the fucking freeway, on the highway at like one in the morning. So, you know, sure, I, I, I thought it was the worst of the worst, but you know, <laughs> I guess, guess it could have been uh, if situations were different, but it was a border patrol. It's a border patrol dude and Made a U-turn right away. I mean, it was right there. It was on the exit. And when I saw him pass me, I looked over, and then the Alamore exit on I-10, past Sierra Blanca, there's an overpass. It's an overpass, and you're going down the freeway. Uh, so on that overpass, <laughs> once, once I looked over and uh, realized where I was, I saw that on each corner of that overpass, there was a... Border Patrol uh, SUV. So this dude comes up. He gets out of his car and he he, he looks at the at my puke, 
And he goes, did you guys, did you just throw up, sir? I go, yes, sir. Uh, I ate something down the road and it didn't sit well with my stomach. And he goes, well, what are you going to do here? And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to, I was just planning on taking a nap. Anywho, so I figured I'd just chill here. And I, without even asking me, he goes, well, he, he did ask, are you the only one? And without him asking me, I was like, yes, sir, I am. And I opened the door, both doors to the side, like, yes, sir, look at, because I'm already, like, I'm already, I'm, I'm very loopy, man. Like, I'm, woo but I'm also like, yo, man, this dude's a fucking federal agent, man. So I go, yes, sir, man. And then it, I had already made my bed, so it looked like a bed in the back. And the car didn't look as dirty, right? So, you know, he, he believed my truth. And, uh, and he goes, all right, well, if, uh, if you guys sleep here, just, just be safe. He goes, I, you know, I was chilling outside for a little bit, but then I start, you know, thinking, like, I should go inside and really take it, or make it believe like I'm taking, taking a nap. So I go inside, right, because I want them to just see me out there fucking looping. <laughs> so I go inside, and inside, I right, like, I close my eyes, and pff, I see white, and yay, I go on my journeys. But uh, during waking up during one of those journeys, right, I, I remember him, like, hearing him, I thought he's not somebody outside, but then I remember the cop saying, be safe, or the border patrol saying, just be safe, and I thought to myself, this is the safest place I could be in. Like, fuck, I'm, I have the U.S. government, I have like fucking four U.S. government vehicles that, or, and technology all locked on this fucking car that this fucking dude just pulled over at, <laughs> yeah, out of nowhere. So I felt safe, but I woke up six in the morning, Boom, headed out to San Antonio, Texas. Made it to my homie's crib. Peachy Big Al. Peachy Tripa. Uh, homie Israel Garcia, one back comic. Uh, Drew Blues. Peachy Cousin Berto. Those <laughs> four fuckers, man. Thank you guys very much. You guys fucking are, are badass. You guys let me stay at your crib. Uh, you guys fucking let me chill. You guys Chubby walked with me. We almost got run over. That was fun. Hey, woo, 50K views on it, <laughs> on TikTok, 9K on Facebook, what? let's go, guys, woo, go viral. Uh, <laughs> anywho, uh, let's see, what else? So, yeah, okay, then we got to San Antonio, San Antonio, humid as fuck, but, uh, you know, I got to see some old friends, uh, got to hang out with a lot of old friends, some people that I hadn't seen in over 10 years, so that, that was pretty awesome, uh, and then I did a, a comedy club out there in, in Canyon Lake, Texas that I had never done. Uh, this comedy club is literally in the middle of nowhere, but this nowhere is paradise. It's a beautiful landscape, man. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful drive. And it's like right, right on the Bucky's exit, right? So I pulled over after the show, spent my whole fucking pay there. But, uh, but dude, Canyon Lake, Goofy's Comedy Club. That place is fucking awesome. If it gets pretty real in there, excuse me, and the people are very real. It's real Texas people, man. But they're not mean and they're not assholes. They're like they're really cool, very open. I mean, you had me talking up there about wanting to be black, Native American, not wanting to be white, talking shit about white people. It's nothing but white people. Uh, you know, but they, we were all laughing. We we're all having a good time. I talked shit about Republicans. I talked shit about Democrats. Talked shit about them all, and we all had a blast. Uh, you know, and yeah, I, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. At first, I was a little nervous. A little nervous. They have. Uh, as soon as I walked in, I saw Trump 2020. No more bullshit flag, and uh, <laughs> I felt at home. I ain't gonna lie, uh, right? So it's like Texas, but um, I knew it was gonna be fun because it's real people with you know real thoughts and 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 real comprehension skills. You know, they're critical thinkers. They they allow themselves to to not be jilted by uh, like keywords, but there's a different word than keywords. But anywho. By trigger words, you know, they they hear they hear the thought. They give you, 
a chance to you know express and at least try to make your fucking thought funny and if you're not funny you're not funny and they gotta let you know but if you're funny they're cool enough to laugh with you and add at themselves because they know that we're good enough to laugh at ourselves uh, you know me i don't give a fuck i know i don't know a goddamn thing in this world i'm a goddamn fool i'll laugh at myself get mad at myself but try to not to take myself too seriously you know but uh but that's what I loved it. I love Canyon Lake, Texas, Goofy's Comedy Club. Can't wait to be back there. Like, in six months, man. Six months. Lunka Bro 3.0, baby. Lunka Bro 3. Come on. Three's a charm. Home run. Yes. We're going to do it. Hey, right? you like that? Except the Angel Stadium right there. Home run. And the Ducks are over there. Um, I heard tonight is their <laughs> opening, opening game, whatever. Um... I wish I would follow hockey more. It's pretty bad as, pretty bad as sport. I started watching a game earlier today. Uh, it was pretty cool. But anywho, so we did that. We did that. Um, jumped on a couple of shows. Friday, I jumped on, on a show, uh, a Big Al show at the Artisan Craft. Although there were, you know, that was just also, like, that was the smallest, most intimate crowd that I had all tour. And it was beautiful, though. The, the dudes were fucking badass. Those guys... Also fucking let loose, man. Those people also let loose. They didn't give a fuck. They're ready to laugh. And not only did I get to perform with my bros, Big Al, Drew Blues, uh, El Cousin Berto, Israel Garcia, I got to meet a badass motherfucking comic headliner, uh, Mark Riccadonna, dude wrote for SNL, writes for SNL. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, badass. Dude was a killer, man. Beast. Uh, fucking rock that I got to see him Friday night then Sunday uh, <laughs> and I don't know I did I did it because of, fuck yeah because I'm a comic and I'm a whore for the stage uh, but uh, the homie cousin Berto had a show and I knew I just had the feeling it was not gonna go well and uh, <laughs> I already had a good taste in my mouth from the night before you know at Canyon Lake where I fucking selling merch shit so merch kicked ass Everybody love me to, <laughs> to doing seven horrible minutes. I'm sorry, cause of Berto. Sorry, elbow room. I tried, but uh, it was uh, I was a little rough. I ain't gonna lie. At least that's that's what I tell myself because I'm honest with myself. Friends will tell you you did okay, but real as fuck. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, rappers, that was dope, man. And you know, did the thing, drove back. Uh, then drive back the whole 20 hours. I stopped in El Paso once again. Say hi and bye to my pops and my grandpa. Uh, this time I didn't get to see him in person. I had to go be through the windows because COVID <laughs> was ravaging El Paso as I was passing through. Then I uh, just drove all the way through, man. Uh, chilled a little bit in, in, in Arizona before I made it, made it to Cali. Made it to Cali. Yeah. And here we are again, rappers, chasing the dream, chasing dollar, chasing fame. Fuck no, we ain't chasing nothing. It's coming to us, baby, because we be manifesting our goals. So manifest away, rappers. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, oh, I haven't done this in a while. So I'll just do this one real quick uh, before I lay down the, the always... Uh, oh, there's a hospital right there. There's an ambulance going. Hope everybody's safe. Survive. Um, before we get into the our epic titty quote, let's um, let's give you mother rappers a rap, 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 rap talks movie review. Ba, 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 what? It's been so long since we did one of those. So. Uh, what are we gonna review this week, rappers? What do you think? What do you think I've been looking forward to watch um, for quite a while? You know, uh, I'll give you a clue. Give you a clue. Woody Harrelson, uh, Tom Hardy, Spider-Man, Venom. Oh, okay, rappers. I was looking so forward to watching this movie, man. I love. Okay. I'm a huge Spider-Man fan, and the and in the comic books, nothing was crazier looking than fucking Carnage. So 
I was I was truly truly disappointed by what I saw. By what I saw. I mean, I. You know what? I I went early. Cheap tickets. It was three D. Cheap tickets still, and it was fucking boring. Not only was it boring. Uh, and look, and it's, I hate, I hate, I hate giving bad reviews, especially for something that I love. But most importantly, I hate giving bad reviews because I know that these movies are filled and created by very talented people, people that are amazing at the things they do. So the fact that they were made, whatever, they, oh my God, no, no. Why? <laughs> Why? Why did they go through with this? Um, I don't know, man. I don't. I. <gasps> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't even. Wa I don't even know if I want to watch uh, No Way Home. It's like, are they just gonna ruin everything just by trying to make, just by trying to squash everything? To, I don't know. But uh, I was not, needless to say, happy with uh, Venom. Let there be carnage. Um, let there be some uh, different motherfucking writers, dog. <laughs> Give us uh, newbies a try. Uh, I mean, if you're going to make that with acclaimed writers, just do that with people that, hey, it's your first time, guys. <laughs> don't let, don't let ta really talented people, don't drag talented people through that, guys. Please, come on, Sony. Don't do that anymore. Um, I mean, other than that, Oh, you guys are great. I have faith in you that you will you will make things better for us. All the fans out there. Um, I'm surprised that I had I mean I haven't I thought I was gonna see a bunch more shit talking by you know the YouTube community of reviewers that I'm uh, you know exclusively part of. I think it's gonna play that way. Um, anywho, no, I thought I was gonna Hear a lot more shit talking, but I didn't, and that's why I was so, oh man, so excited, so excited. I feel bad, took a friend, wasted, not only did I waste an hour and a, it's not only an hour and a half, fucking previews are now like 30 minutes. I wasted like two hours out of my life and another person's life. Oh man, I, that's it. I'm never taking anybody else to another Marvel movie or Sony movie. Uh, ever again. I'm just gonna go by myself because at least I like this shit. If it sucks, it sucks. Uh, and I, But I still enjoy it. it. It doesn't suck to where my friend Sam has to be like, oh, I was fucking asleep. Like, ten, two minutes into the movie. Woke up that way. Fell back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, man. Because he bought popcorn too. Not only did we waste his two hours, Sony, we also, he also spent, oh my God. We, everybody... Everybody lost out here, Sony. Come on. Um, and AMC, no rockets. Come on. AMC to the moon, baby. What's going on? Uh, you know? So, with that being said, I'll leave you guys with this because I feel like, you know, maybe even the people at Venom and Sony and Marvel should hear this, uh, as, as we all should. <coughs> so, here it goes. Epic titty quote. For Rap Talks 46, if evil be said of thee, and if it be true, correct thyself. If it be a lie, ha ha ha, laugh at it. Rappers, that's it. Episode 46. Thank you very much for all your love. We'll see you uh, next one. <laughs> Peace.